the Duchess of Sussex got to meet members of the Grenfell community in 2018, when she discovered the Hub Community Kitchen and decided to support it by writing the forewords to the book together, Our Community Cookbook. And, despite having bowed out of the firm as its working member in the spring of 2020, Megan has remained in touch with those who came together in the wake of the fire at the residential tower that claimed the lives of 72 people and left injured many more. On Tuesday, the fifth anniversary of the tragedy, the official Instagram account of the Hub Community Kitchen revealed the Duchess had got in touch with members of the organization to catch up. In a post, the group wrote, Today is a day spent looking back, remembering and reflecting. I just found this picture of us all, on the day our cookbook came out. The Duchess had wrapped a book for each one of us and wrote a lovely message to each lady on the first page. Always very thoughtful, today we received a lovely voice message from the Duchess, being the five, fifth, year's anniversary of the Grenfell tragedy, asking how we are, about our children and families and giving us news of hers. Just being her beautiful kind self. The account also shared a picture dating back to 2018, showing Megan smiling while surrounded by members of the community kitchen holding up a wrapped copy of their cookbook. News the group is still in Megan's thoughts was hugely welcomed by Instagram users. One, Rasha underscore Ahmad, wrote, She's always so thoughtful and kind. God bless you all. Another, Honey underscore Queen B74, added, Wishing everyone all the best. Megan is so thoughtful, kind and an amazing woman. And Mazzy underscore Mill posted, Sending all you ladies love and hugs. She's a wonderful soul. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge yesterday backed Grenfell Tower survivors' quest for justice as the fifth anniversary of the disaster was marked. Survivor Diago Alves, 25, said the Cambridges met 11 campaigners from Grenfell United, as well as children and some of the bereaved. And he said they seemed like they genuinely cared for their plight. Diago said, they were being introduced to some of the committee members. We were explaining to them what our struggles were, who we were and what we were doing. We were trying to give them a slice of what it was like to be us, even if it's only for five minutes, so they can understand the reason behind why we fight the way we do and the reason why justice is so important. They said they were very supportive of what we stood for and what it was we were doing and, said, to keep up the good work. It's always nice having people of that stature being able to empathize with our struggle and with our fight. Hopefully, in the future, it will continue to help us receive justice. They seemed like they genuinely cared. They did seem more genuine than some of the politicians I've met. You could see there was some emotion there. For us to continue our struggle and our fight, these are the people we need to make an impression on. Although they hold no political power, they hold influence over the way we see it as a country. It was a general conversation about all the work we've done at Grenfell United but also as bereaved and survivors. Leveling up Secretary Michael Gove said, The Grenfell Tower tragedy must never be allowed to happen again and our thoughts are with the bereaved families survivors and residents at this incredibly difficult time.